surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys! Europe Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using buckets to make a semi-circle seating area. I'll start by taking off the handle and I'll be using four buckets for this project. I'll turn the buckets upside down and then make a slight curve for the seating area. I put weights behind the bucket and put a piece of wood here. I will be adding another piece of wood at the top. This is a portable board that I got from Home Depot and it's flexible and perfect for my project. That's what I'll be using on the inside and on the outside to make curves for my design. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The boards are pretty hard to bend, but the buckets that I chose were really helpful because the part down here served as a gauge. For me, I will rest the board on that gauge before attaching it to the bucket. I'll be making tufts for this DIY and I'm going to be starting off by covering the whole thing with foam. I will cut off the excess. I have some leftover foams from another project and they are round in shape. So these are going to be on top of the four buckets. This is just one inch foam. So I'm going to have to add more foam for it to be comfortable to sit on. The next step will be to make marks for my tufting and the points that I have here are 6 inches away from each other. I used a pair of scissors to make holes where the points are and these holes are going to make the tufting much deeper. The sides here don't have boards so I have to improvise and use a canvas panel instead. After doing that, I decided to tuft the top. Now I'm going to be covering the entire thing with dadding. I'll be using this white crushed velvet fabric for my project. For today's tufting, I'll be using a staple gun. All I'm doing is locating where the holes are and making sure that it's free from the foam and the batting before stapling it down.
when I was done with the tufting, I added another particle board at the top and I attached that particle board with screws. I'll be tufting the board at the top as well. I'll be attaching wood on both sides for extra support. I'll be covering the back with cardboard and this cardboard is going to be covered with the same fabric that I used for the tufting. I'm going to turn it over and close the bucket. This part down here is going to be covered. Now you see this part here that has the screw, that's because the staple pin that was there refused to stay in place, so I had to use screw and a washer. Now this part down here is going to be covered with strips that I will cut from a poster board. The strips will be joined together and covered with tape and then I'll attach it to the bottom. This is perfect the way it is. But I like to extend the design upward, so I'll be adding this board at the back. It's a wooden board that's really hard, so I'll be covering this board with the same fabric that I used for the tufting. And I'll be adding some patterns around it. And these were gotten from Family Dollar. They belong to another set of decor that I got from Family Dollar. Now I spray painted them silver and attached them to the board point where both decorative pieces meet or attached together with screws. I wanted to make sure that the extra decor that I'm adding to the seating is really sturdy so I attach them to the wood. The back of the seating area would have a little table so I attached corner braces that's going to hold a plank that's going to be for the table. I also added mirror to add to the design. I'll use these buttons to cover the staple pins on my tufts. I am done and I love the way the sitting turned out. These types of designs come in a complete circle, but I decided to make mine halfway because I am not putting it in a store. It's gonna be in my home. But this is also gonna be really cute in an entrance or on a staircase where you wanna just step for a little bit to adjust either your shoes or maybe stop for a little chit chat. It all depends where you want to have it because it's a decorative piece that's also functional for seating. I really love this and to think that I started with just a bucket. And then I added three more and now I have a cute seating area. You can make this design as large as you like depending on the space where you'd like to put it in your home.
top part that's in the middle can be converted to a storage if you like. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other DIY home decor videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.